Well, congratulations, guys. So excited to see this movie. I'm a big fan of Wallace and Gromit. What do you think it is about Wallace and Gromit that resonates with so many audiences? Um, I think it's just they're a little bit they're so familiar to us I think we've lived with them for so long and I think Nick's grown up with these characters um, so he knows them intimately he's very much in his comfort zone when he's back with Wallace and Gromit and I think that just shows on the screen it's just like spending time with old friends I think it's just really lovely to have them back in the room so yeah yeah because they're, they're great friends and they live in a world where anything can happen I mean it's just the great thing and with stop frame we can actually make all those things happen you know from the completely mundane everyday life to some quite epic sort of scenarios yeah which are also quite ridiculous as well <laughs> I love it so much so what can you tease for audiences uh, about Vengeance Most Foul well I think the, the name says it all I mean our, our favorite villain is back again and yes he's obviously got some something on his mind he wants to settle uh, with, some, <laughs> with some old adversaries he's been he's been brewing on something for quite a while now so yes <laughs> time for him to come out of the shadows again so it's been a long time coming but yes. I think it'll be worth the wait <laughs> I, I love feathers so much I'm so excited to see him back uh, are there any other Easter eggs from other films that fans can maybe pick up on Oh yeah, there's quite a few Easter eggs in there, but I, I shouldn't really give any of them yeah. away at the minute. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of film noir and there's a lot of sort of dark films that we actually do reference. Right at the beginning, you'll, you'll see one. Uh, hopefully, it'll um, it'll resonate with some fan, fans of some, you know, thrillers and some quite dark movies, in fact. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you. That's good. Yes. Coming soon. Yeah. Coming yeah. soon. We'll explain it, but everyone will enjoy it, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. So I love stop motion. I think it's beautiful. Can you just talk about you know it as an art and why it's so important? Uh, it's important because, as I, I said before, it, you can go into a world of complete make-believe and complete ridiculous uh, 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 notions and that. Uh, and it's all possible because every frame is handcrafted and created, so yeah, you can take it in all directions. I think it very much is that human touch on every frame, whether that's the sort of thumb prints in the plasticine. And of course, we do use sort of visual effects now just to sort of help us on our way, but it's still very much that hand touch on the screen for us. So I think that just comes through sort of everything we do. So there's, there's just a real magic to it. And I think when people come around the studio, it's very much being inside the sort of the doll's workshop. Do you know what I mean? That's what it feels like. So. I know. Yeah, just seeing the actual like Wallace and Gromit right there that they're bringing out. It's incredible. The detail's amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. so great. Well, thank you guys so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who could possibly be behind all this?